Hi What's guys. up guys? Welcome to Rain Lines Reviews. As you see, I'm still wearing the same shirt because this movie, this video was made back to back. Yeah, and um, we have Lisa. She's here chilling. She's sleepy right now. So she's just going to be here. But Anyways, yeah, so we're here to talk to you guys about, about hereditary. hereditary. Oh my gosh. Now in the first uh, review that I, I gave you guys, it was uh, spoiler free because I wanted to wait to do all the spoils with lovely Lonnie here. And, um, yeah. This movie was messed up. Like, effed up to the max. Like, this movie had no chill whatsoever. It was, it was fucking crazy. It like, was just... I don't get how people hate it, but then again, I can understand if maybe the, the, um, the trailers didn't, didn't sell you the same movie. Yeah. I but guess kind of like what trailers. happened with Mother, I guess. But I loved Mother. Like, yeah, but we didn't see none of the trailers. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah. We saw the trailers, but we didn't... Uh... But we didn't see... Like, honestly, okay, when we went to go see Hereditary, we walked into the theater and wanted to see Incredibles 2. But yeah. it was completely <laughs> sold out. So we're like, whoa, what's, what else is there? We were already here. So then we went to go see Hereditary, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into. I just thought it was going to be like a drama. I was like, all right. But no! <laughs> I thought so too. Right? In the beginning because, it uh, sets it up as a drama. Yeah, and uh, the person, the reason I, I picked Hereditary was because I was like, oh, well, I remember seeing somebody post something about it on Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, Sonia, the Sonia? Uh, comedian, she, oh, okay. she was okay. posting about it and I was like, oh, well, maybe we can see it. She said it was a good movie, but she never said what kind of yeah, movie. Yeah, what kind of movie. She just, so said, like, she just recommended it. She's like, oh, you gotta go see it. Yeah, and I was like, okay, let's right. go check this movie out. And when we checked it out, like... Jeez, like, we were... Yeah. We're like, it's weird, but maybe it's one of those, like, like white people movies. Because, like, you know how white people love cancer and oh my diseases God. and stuff? Like Those really, like... <laughs> Like a weird touchy feely movies. Yeah, where they're like, oh, she's got a heart of gold, but she's gonna die. Like those kind of movies. I thought that was gonna be like that. But, but no, no. Um, <laughs> this was this was movie was uh, fucked this up. It's a cult movie. It's it turned into a straight up cult movie. It was like if they did um, the last uh, the last exorcism, right? Like the last exorcism, I thought was a decent movie, but. Like, there's a lot of flaws to it, but it this is what The Last Exorcism would have been. And, yeah. It was so, the movie... Insane. So, uh, I don't know if I explained what off. happened in the movie, but... So, yeah, start off in the, from the beginning. So, like, there's, main, a, main there's the death of, um, of the family's matriarch, which is the grandmother. And she, um... She was really weird with her daughter. Like, she wouldn't... She's very secretive. Yeah. And uh, in the beginning, Distance, yeah. like there's there's like weird shit, like people smiling at the girl Charlie, and like and she's like the mom. So, so she, yeah, the grandmother. Then you have Charlie. No, no, yeah, yeah the grandmother, the mom, and then Charlie's the granddaughter. Yeah, okay. and uh, it was like she was already weird. Like she, she has this face. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dick. I I know it's like something. Um, she has. I think she has a disease. Yeah, she has the same thing as. She has. Yeah, she has the same condition as the dude from Stranger Things. But yeah, she has this face, and she does this weird clicky shit with her tongue. Like, and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> the like, way it shows it in the movie. Yeah, it's just she's like, just stop. like awkwardly. Like, awkwardly awkward. Awkward. Yeah, she's antisocial. But yeah, but, but the uh, grandma, the grandmother was in love with her. Yeah. Super close to where she was nursing her, right? Yeah, it was weird because so, yeah. I was like, I remember seeing a scene where where they have like the little claymation dolls or the yeah. or not the claymation, like the the doll set of the of the miniature houses and stuff, uh -huh. and like it shows the mom uh, breastfeeding Breast the baby, the grandmother and then the old lady the like the old lady's titty was out. I was like. Why did What's old lady's on? titty out? Like, <laughs> put that away. Yeah. But yeah. Um, this movie is made to make you feel very, very uncomfortable. Like, there's a lot of uncomfortable scenes in this movie. And it's made by the person yeah. who made uh, 
the strange thing about the Johnsons, which is... Oh, really? Yeah. What? Yeah. If you haven't seen that little, like, <laughs> short film, was straight, the strange thing... What? About the Johnsons. About the Johnsons. You can look it up on YouTube. It is weird. weird. Like, whoa. Okay. Stop being weird, nigga. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, but this movie, like, they, they, um, like, I don't know how to explain it. They do, like, they do so a So the lot. grandmother dies. They go through the funeral. She's like, oh, my God. The, the mom, and she's like, oh, my gosh, my mom just died. And she's, like, she's conflicted. She doesn't know whether she, like, is relieved or if she's, like, sad. So she's like, you, so she's trying to grieve and she's just like, well, I mean, she was, we had a really crappy relationship and it's like her, her life was crap. My life is crap now. And so she's going through these support groups and, um, then she's lying to her husband about lying, going to the support yes, groups. Yes, lying to her husband. She's, she tells her husband, like, I'm going to go see a movie, but really she's going to these um, how to deal with losing a loved one support groups. But she's also like uh, being distant with Peter. Her and, son. And uh, one day she meets this lady. I, for, I forgot the lady's I, name. Her, but she yeah, this lady who goes to the support groups. Yeah. This lady. And um, the lady's like, oh, well. She okay, befriends this her. Is, let's talk about Charlie first. Um, so Charlie, like, she's she's weird. She cuts off Bert's head and shit and puts it on, like, little dolls and stuff. Yeah. Makes, like, uh, figures. Um, that's her thing. And she sleeps outside in this weirdly tree built house. tree house. Yeah. Like, it's awkward. Like, it's in the middle of four trees, but... It's cool. It, I think it's cool. It's cool, but weird at the same time. Like, well, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to be in a... Well, because the movie like is that. weird, so it's, like, uncomfortable. It's uh, weird. But anyways, uh, the only normal person in the family is the father. Yeah. And <laughs> well, he doesn't he doesn't get out. But um, but yeah, um, everybody else they they have some weird tendencies. Like uh, the son Peter, he's well, he's not weird, but he's like a dorky pothead who like wants to be cool but isn't. He still looks like the nerd from Jumanji, so I, I don't know how you fix that. It's the same actor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But he still acts the same. Yeah. Only he smokes pot now. He just smokes a lot of pot, yeah. Um, and everybody else is like... So the family's but, very distant. The family, it doesn't have a... The family's very broken. And the, uh, the turning point to this movie is, uh, I guess, when... When like she's, uh, I think it's when she left the funeral and she's talking about oh, um, she you was like oh there's a book. Forward. She was like oh there's a, no I'm not. She's uh, she said that there is a um, a book that her mother had for her, and she's like um, she tries to find it or whatever, but she doesn't. And then for some reason you see her like her appear the grandmother. In the corner. Remember? You're not making any sense in the viewers, though. I am. I just told him a scene. Like, Alright. I mean, yeah, she turns movie. off the light and you see a figure in the corner after the grandmother died. She's looking through her grandma, her mom's old stuff and she's like, no, like, I'm, I'm hurting too much to even look at her stuff. I don't even want to, like, deal with this right now. Turns off the light, about to walk out of the room. She sees, you see the grandmother there in the corner, just like kind of blending in with the background, like her ghost. And smiling. And sm she was smiling? Yeah. Oh, God. It was just super creepy. I'm just Every like, time oh, I God. think about it, I get chills. It's like, cool. it's very scary. Like, the way it's, oh, this movie, the cinematics of it, it just, oh, my God. Like, it will get under your skin. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, you, from that point on, like, you know something is up. Like, okay, something is happening. So... The mother is dead. And then they do some dumb white people shit. Um, they said, like, I think in the beginning they talk about, oh, there's a smell upstairs. And this is after the father just heard from the funeral place that the grave has been dug up. And, like, 
they just let the smell stay there, which is weird. Like, if there's a dead body in your house, don't you think that you would, like, try to find the yeah. problem and clean it up? Well, they didn't. Yeah, and then the, the, the husband gets a phone call from the people who works in the cemetery where the grandmother was buried. Right. Saying that, I know, but saying that someone had dug up the body and took the body. And he's like, well, what do you mean? Were they... The ceremony just happened like last week, right? Yeah. And so he ends up holding that information from his wife. There's a lot of miscommunication in this movie. There is. Like, it's a very broken family. Like, it really is. But that's the thing about uh, the demon in this movie. This demon... He feeds uh, off of that. He feeds off of um, people who are broken down or... Yeah. Or broken in general. And... Um, like you see each person fall to uh to all of all of his tricks yeah like apparently he sees the future and stuff like okay. that and um there's a scene where charlie gets her head knocked off because her his because charlie's mom forced her to go to the party with peter and um people were saying that this was all in their head like they just have mental illness like this doesn't have anything to do with mental illness I mean, yeah. you see all you see all of this happening. Like after the death of the grandmother, they just everyone has just been confined to their room, to their own little corner, just kind of on their own. So then finally, the son P Peter, mm -hmm. Peter, he he's like, oh, I'm gonna go to a party. Um, there's not gonna be any drinking, yada yada yada. Of course, there is gonna be drinking. But then the mom's like, take your sister because she needs to go out and talk to other kids. They go. Now the girl is like completely allergic to. To nuts like a severe allergy and for some reason they are as like soon as, they walk into, as soon as they walk into the party like the opening shot is like a counter filled with a pile of nuts that they're chopping up to put into this cake it's like, like a mountain weird, like, of nuts makes a cake at a party like i know and they're busy making the cake you're like oh i gotta get these nuts cut up and i'm gonna I put know. them in this cake Anyways, like, like you, didn't, you didn't make the cake before the party? Like, yeah, like, what the hell? Why didn't you just buy it? Like, like everybody else does. So then the brother.